it's a new day and uh, what a day and I should be working in the garden but my uh, garden cultivator broke down so uh, I had to send it to the repairman and uh, I can't get it back before uh, a week or 10 days so um, I have to do something else and I was working on this project with uh, these machine scene clamps and uh, I had the problem with uh, doing these threads I don't think they're I don't like them they're not good enough so uh, I have to stall this project a little and make a new project a new day a new project and uh, for years I have had lots of these dies here but never had uh, the possibility to really hold them good and tight I made one of the first tools I made was <laughs> these preliminary tools uh, even got a ball bearing on the end here and it works nicely can uh, can run on the ways with this one <coughs> and so on and for the bigger dies I made this one but it's a little dangerous I think to have this lever here turning around and your hands uh, moving besides it so um, I decided to make a real tailstock die holder and uh, I've seen some duration on Chris channel and uh, double boost and uh, some others and I found some uh, inspirations that I will use so um, I found on eBay I found this uh, sleeve or converter from uh, Morse Taper 4 to Morse Taper 4 and I'll use that and then make a, a pipe sliding on here with this so that I can mount the dies up here in a sort of holder and uh, with screws and all of it and then uh, put this in the tailstock and then this here can slide on this surface I remember seeing somewhere I can't remember where but I remember I've seen it somewhere that uh, one has made the ability to to make um, a sort of adjustment so you can you can uh, adjust the length of the thread to be cut and when uh, the length is reached then it just turns around and I think that was very nice so I'll try to to uh, incorporate that in my setup here in the first place I'll make this tube so that this can go inside or if I can I'll turn this down I re in fact I don't know if this in fact is round so I'll take a measurement here and see and if I can turn it I'll turn it down one millimeter or so then I still have room here to, to turn this inside so that it can be uh, round inside here and I want to want to leave so uh, as much meat here as I can that's the first thing and then I'll make some holder for the different dies that I got um, on an auction I, I got a, a whole box of these and uh, a little bigger ones too and I have to collect it uh, on Tuesday so um, I'll, I'll make the holder when I, I have these dies in my shop but um, today I can 
I can do this and make this look nice. So um, that's the first thing. Find out if this is round and if I can turn it to be round here. There is some stamped in there. It's a German Rom Rom 4 to 4 converter. Really nice one and you get them on eBay for next to nothing. Yeah, I'll set it up in the lathe and come back. In fact I just uh, took the high spots around the stamping here 4 to 4 and the room brand name is is gone but in fact I just took some emery cloth here and polished it afterwards with some brown of these and now I want to want to turn the inside diameter of the pipe here so that it can slide with a very tight fit not tight but sliding fit here yeah in fact it machines very nicely and I think I'll just leave it with that surface there now I'll make a plug and send a drill it I have a lot of cheddar in the first part there, but never mind that. I have to turn it away for for the dies or the holder to go in there for the difference. No, no problem there. Farther in, I have a, a decent surface, but I had to make. A very big, uh, a very big. Um, I miss words here. Um, drill, drilling bar. But I, I think I can, I can uh, use this for, for the whole way through. And it's there now, so uh, I can't miss it. I have to use this. I took some spring cuts and it uh, removed uh, some of the chatter in the first place here, in the first uh, four or five millimeters or one centimeter. And I think it's a good fit for, for sliding. The thread should draw it out by its own and I think that's a good fit there not really some yeah now I made the I believe we should call it two Two inch, two inch dies, and I think it's a nice fit here. Listen. It couldn't be better, I think. 55 millimeters in the ball. Ball hall, hall ball. <laughs> no. Too long ago since I've seen uh, Mr. Keith Fenner, he uses this term often. Yeah, now I'll, um, for the smaller one, when I get more of them, I'll make a plug here and then for one inch and uh, one and a half inch, I'll make a plug there. And with the screws in here, distributed uh, 180 and 120 
or what is needed, uh, I can fix the plug to this and it can slide back and forth on the, on the sleeve here. Of course from the other end, it should go in from the other end. Now I want to take it out because now I'm finished this end. I want to take it out, turn it around and dial it in again so I can make the other end. Uh, yeah. Now I bore it from the other end. Boring bar. There was the word. Boring bar. And uh, it's a nice fit, I think. Listen to that sound. And in fact I didn't polish it here. And there are some nicks from from the wedge here, I can see, so I believe that's nice, really nice. Boring bar, haha, -ha. yeah. Yeah, even though these dies should be the same, there, there are a little difference. It's a little bit loose. And this one here fits very nice. Yeah. I had to cut a little bit of the length because I want to ensure that I can reach up and put them out here. reason why I can't get any further and I will never have the use for it but it's nicks and dings here from the wedge that's nice and then when the threading goes on it pulls this yeah It's a heavy duty one, I think. Yep. Next. The day after tomorrow. I have to go to the auction to collect these dies I bought. <clears throat> then I, when I got them in the shop, I'll make a holder for the smaller ones. Meanwhile, I'll meanwhile I'll make uh, some sort of ring here where I can have the release mechanism inserted. I have to rethink that a little more. I think I'll use something with a ball bearing, a small ball bearing or so. I think I'll let, I'll make a sketch of it.